What's happening, everybody? I'm Brink Young, host of the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Brink TV. But now, we in Atlanta, and I want you to become a guest on the Brink TV show. You see, on Brink TV, we interview artists, models, actors, entrepreneurs, all forms of entertainment and we play music videos we come on comcast xfinity channel 29 every tuesday night at 12 midnight so if you want to promote your music or your business bring tv where it's at what's happening everybody of course it's your host Brent young and you're tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in memphis atlanta and mobile alabama of course all the trophies in the background i said award-winning none other than brink tv now to not adjust your tv set we got a brand new face she's not kicking it with us on the white couch but she's still on the brink tv show beautiful young lady r&b singer by the name of lorenza how you doing Great. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing excellent. First and foremost, I got to say thank you for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you on the show with us. Thank you. It means a lot to me, for real. Thank you so much for the opportunity. No doubt. So we got plenty to talk about because as I did mention in the intro that you are an R&B singer, or I don't want to limit you to just one genre. You're a singer. Let's talk about, you know, more about you, background. So where exactly are you from? I'm from Israel originally. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Did you say Israel? Yes. Wow. That's incredible. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm from Israel. I love this country. Um, speak Hebrew originally, so you can hear the accent. Um, and I'm from a city that's called Rishon Lexion. That's incredible. So let's talk about growing up, you know, there. What was it like for you? in Israel was a uh, beautiful um, I would never change it um, but it was a dream for me as a young girl to move to United States um, it always you know I was a big fan of Rihanna Beyonce Chris Brown Asher you know I was like one day, you know? <laughs> All right. So, of course, we got to talk about, like, music. Like, how did you get your start in music? When did you begin? So, um, I remember myself. It, I was eight year old, and um, my father uh, just passed away. And I remember as a kid, like, I always liked to express myself, you know, by dancing. I, I would go and and teach my cousins and like to dance, you know, like I would do like the <laughs> the choreography or singing. And I remember that I just started singing to express my pain and my loss. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was eight. <laughs> of course, you know, starting at such a young age, you know, were you doing any performances or any events or anything like that or what? Um, until 18 when you know every israeli person go to the army goes to the army uh, when they turn 18 so i used to perform since i'm 12 until 18 a lot and i used to always like thinking okay when is the next show where like <laughs> what is the next song i'm gonna sing and yeah, yeah where i'm gonna dance and you know it, it was a thing I loved it I missed it a lot so being at such a young age like were you ever nervous did you ever have any butterflies in your stomach were you nervous about performing in front of a lot of large audience yes it was but you know what I remember that it was I had these butterflies but this feeling is really addictive you know I am I'm, I'm thinking about it today I'm like Oh my god! I'm, like I wanna, um, I want you know, I wanna perform and like uh, I, I just I love performing, but I I'm, I'm I'm afraid. Like I will always be afraid to perform, but it's an amazing feeling after. Yeah. So have you actually had the opportunity to perform here in the United States? Yes. Um. Not too big. Um. But yeah. And sometimes you know, you know when I'm, it's kind of new to me because I just started. Um choreography for music videos you know i released my first song last year so now i'm working on videos and choreography and like 
develop myself as an artist. And um, so we, one time in the rehearsal, um, <laughs> the choreographer told me, Lorenza, now can you sing the song live? And we were like 15 people. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You know, all of this pandemic and all of it, like I couldn't even do that. Um, so he's like, he's like, yeah, okay. I'm like, okay. And I started performing and I sang and I felt so good. I missed it so much. And they all told me like, you sound even better than the, the recording. Like usually people have like heavy auto tune, but that's crazy. Cause you, you sound even better. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know so the feedback is good which is awesome so yeah i, I miss it a lot that's incredible so let's go ahead and talk about the video you said you released uh birthday is definitely available on youtube right now everybody you want to go check it out let's talk about it so the first video i released was birthday and i released it like four months ago um i directed it and I wrote the treatment and it took me so long to like think about everything about like how I want the story to to look like and I chose like the the little actress to play me and I chose the mom and uh, I was casting you know it was like a whole thing that I was like it was so exciting and um, I don't know it <laughs> after the video shoot uh, I cried for like two months straight like people calling me and they're like hi Lorenzo what's up I'm like oh, you don't understand <laughs> and I'm crying and like I'm so excited I'm so happy and like <laughs> yeah it was it was a great experience so this the next one it's gonna be really nice really cool I didn't direct it this time but it's gonna look oh my god I'm so excited for the next one and of course, uh, birthday is definitely available on YouTube right now. Everybody, you want to go check it out. And it's a very beautiful song, very amazing video, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, transition to you're actually working on an EP, correct? I'm working on an EP. Um, so yesterday I had like a huge session. We were like six producers. Wow. Yeah, in my place, I made it like look like a studio and we had like like four guitars and like, you know, all, all of the instruments. And I'm like, oh my God, I just can't believe it. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, and I was part of the production, which is important to me because I know how I want things to sound. I know how I want things to, sound, to, to be like to look sonically, you know, so yeah i'm excited for the new ep i'm, not right, so. for, I'm sorry <laughs> no go ahead go ahead yeah i'm looking for uh people to feature on this ep i found some amazing rappers okay and i'm excited for it yeah that's cool so let's talk about like who are some of the rappers that you like to you know listen to you know because i think that's kind of unique you know you you know being a singer but you want to feature some rappers so who are some of the rappers that you like uh, my dream to work with, let's talk about work with, okay, <laughs> is Kanye. I okay. think genius. Like my friends, like the people I'm working with, they call me little Kanye. <laughs> I'm crazy when it comes to my art, okay? So if, for example, it doesn't meet what I want, I'm like, I'm losing it, you know? But I'm saying it in a nice way. Um, sometimes it... I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but if it doesn't meet meet what I need, I'm like, in my head, like, it's like, you know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Kanye, the new album, bro. I'm like, yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's an incredible album, you know, definitely shout out to Kanye West, you know, he got a lot of amazing songs on there, personally, I like, uh, he got a song on there called Praise God that I like, he got Off the Grid, he's got so many bangers on there, this, and it's incredible, so, back to your EP, like, when could we expect it? The end of the year, for sure, I promised okay. myself, I said, this year, you have to come up with a project, 
listen, I'm not putting a time limit on myself and I don't want to even put me in a box. As you said, like, I'm not only an R&B singer, I'm a singer and I want to, uh, like, make music that I feel at the same time. So if it's pop, if it's R&B record, like, I want to, I don't want to put myself in, um, in a box, you know? But in terms of when I release it, it's gonna be until the end of the year because I promised myself. Yep. <laughs> you know, you kind of sound like a perfectionist, kind of like Kanye. You don't want to put it out too premature. You want to make sure that it's perfect, that it's right. Is that right? Oh my God, you don't even understand. It's exactly what you said. And um, uh, I, I have like a like hundred songs. I'm not even kidding with you. you know, wow. Like, I love being in the studio. It's like for me, the studio, it brings me life. Like if I'm not in the studio, I'm depressed. Yeah, that's incredible. So let, let's talk about your family back home. You know, are they supportive of your music career as well as your move to the United States to pursue, you know, success? Yes. Um, so I'll explain and I'll tell you the story, like how I prepared my mom. <laughs> I was 12. And it was a show on a TV. It was uh, something like some singing competition. And I was telling my mom, one day you'll be so proud of me and I'm gonna make it in the United States. I said New York, which I lived in New York, but I definitely feel like I belong to Los Angeles where I am right now. Um, but yeah, I was always telling her and it, this specific was in her room and I see it like I talk to you and I see it the picture you know um, and I always tell this story because like look at me now I'm here you know and um, yeah so my mom really supported me she's supportive my mom is supportive my sister supportive they are my biggest fans like they know what I've been through to make things happen you know they know my struggle they know that sometimes most of the times i didn't even have money to buy food out here they they you know like it's really hard especially that i'm not i came here without speak the language you know i i couldn't have a um a conversation with people out here um so I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot of depression and, I've, and nothing was looking like that at the beginning. Now, after like this whole time, I, I'm feeling like, oh, okay, I'm working. I'm working with my producers. I'm, I have people who believe in me. I believe in myself, you know? So it took a while until everything look, looked solid. All right, so you did mention producers. Now, I understand that you actually have your own in-house producer. We're talking about Enzo. Let's go ahead and talk about how important it is for you to have your own personal producer as opposed to the challenges that other artists face when they're out here searching for their own producer. Yes, yeah, so Enzo, first of all, shout out to Enzo. Such a great person, such an amazing producer, amazing heart. Um, so I'm grateful for this uh, producer because, you know, as a young woman and it's really hard to come to the studio and that people take you serious because, you know, I don't have the money, I don't have the funds. Um, so they're like, a lot of producers, they're like looking to help you, but they will be like, so let's hang out after. And I don't <laughs> I can hang out with you, but I'm not going to be your girlfriend or anything. Right. <laughs> you want to work, you want to... Cool, you know? See, I think, see, some guys, they trying to smash, you know, because you're beautiful. So they see you, you know, and they trying to, you know, they trying to do that, you know? Thank you. But there's so many beautiful girls out there. Why do you need to, like, come, like, and abuse my dream? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, why? Because... Okay, the way I look, okay, but why you need to uh, use use it, your power or whatever you do with another girl's dream? I don't understand that. I just don't put it. But um, 
so yeah Enzo is a, such a great person I met him here in LA I came when the pandemic happened and you know we couldn't work so one of the engineers in the studio that he used to work Enzo uh, he saw that I was up uploading uh, covers on, on Instagram and he was like hi um, I know that you uh, live in here in LA and it's the pandemic but I think it's gonna be a good opportunity for you to to be an intern in this studio it's a commercial studio and I was like hmm, okay <laughs> and he also saw that um, I needed a mic I needed like to learn uh, how to record myself you know and he's like if you're gonna be an intern here uh, we can teach you everything um, and also we gonna work together so I'm like okay let's do that you know so I did it and uh, one time I went to the studio and the studio was empty and uh, I said, okay, it's time, we can make music, me and the other engineers and the producers. And, um, and then I was looking for beats and I'm like, okay, it's not it, it's not it, you know, cause people send you beats, you know? And then Enzo came to the room and he's like, what's up guys? What are you doing? I'm like, we're making music. And, and then one of the co-writers for birthday was like, yeah, she wants that R&B feeling, you know, and all what I got is like hip hop, which I love hip hop. You see, I love rappers and I love lyrics and bars, but that's not what I was looking for. And then he's like, I have something for you. <laughs> and then I, I heard the first song was Birthday. I was like, that's the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made Birthday was super dope that's incredible all right so let's go ahead transition what is all your social media handles that way the people can keep up with you uh so instagram is call me lorenza uh twitter is j s lorenza uh, t uh tiktok is call me lorenza and yeah spotify lorenza youtube lorenza facebook Lorenzo. All right, so you got any shout outs, anything before we get out of here? Shout out to Thomas <laughs> that he actually introduced me to you and such a great person. Uh, to my family, for sure, for the support, my producer Enzo again, and all of the people who believe in me and involved in my career. And to you, for featuring me <laughs> on your show appreciate it uh definitely no problem and hey thank you for being on the show and of course shout out to ef thomas you know hey salute thank you for the you know introduction as well as i want to give a shout out to i work for money clothing thank you guys for the gear and with that being said thank you again for coming on the show lorenzo thank you so much